The most important thing is to identify your animals. Uh, have some form of identification, uh, whether it be a tag, branding, microchips, whatever you can, make sure you identify your animals. Another thing, and it's probably with large numbers, it's not feasible, with smaller numbers, pictures of your animals so that you can use those to identify those animals are also important ways. If you have animals that are burned, I would probably have a veterinarian examine the, examine the animal, uh, no matter what the, how severe you think it is or how, how minor the injury is. Burns need to be accessed to how, what the degree it is, how deep did it penetrate into the skin, and then you're gonna have to decide what types of treatments that you would wanna do at that point. Depending upon the severity of the, of the damage to the animal, uh, decisions are going to have to be made as far as what's in the best interest of this animal from the standpoint at what point do we decide to look at euthanizing this animal. I think what becomes the most difficult part is those that survive. You have to remember that in burn victims, the worst problem you're going to have to deal with is the infections because we've destroyed usually the skin or the hooves or whatever else, the external uh, part of the animal and that is going to allow bacteria to invade and cause infections. So what you have to monitor in some of these that do not look as severe is you have to watch out for infections. They're not going to eat, they're not going to drink, uh, going to be spending a lot of time laying around because they're depressed, they're in pain and those types of things. So those are the, typically what we're going to have to watch, watch out for for those that initially appear like they're, they're going to be okay. Now once again, I think that producers should at least have a plan for what they're going to do with uh, these uh, carcasses long before you have to have to deal with it. And basically we have some options, either one, you're going to have to bury the carcass. Uh, another option is if a landfill will accept them, you can take them to a landfill. Uh, composting is a very viable option. Uh, incineration, although in in large numbers and uh, may not be feasible, it is another option that you can consider.